Here are reaction is deputy manager and editor of Red State, Kira Davis. Kira, uh, so glad to have you on here. Uh, I had a fascinating conversation just with the reverend, but now I want to go to the money because it's easy to go out there posting these squares and going out there and marching and saying that you love the community, you want to build businesses in our communities. But when it came down to actually delivering that money, they didn't do that, Kira. Well, no, and I, people like you and I said that this whole time. You know, we don't need people who have loud voices and deep pockets, but no good intentions. You know, the black community has been plagued by those people for decades. What we need is people who are willing to put their feet on the ground and do the hard work of the day in, day out of changing a community. And I know I've been um, a community supporter and activist, and I have supported uh, after school programs in the inner city. And I have sacrificed a lot of my life to, to be in situations to help people. And I can tell you that there's no glamour in it. You don't get a mansion in, in Studio City in Los Angeles, one of the most uh, posh places to live. You don't get that. You, you get a lot of hard work, sweat, blood, and tears. But we just got a lot of blood on our hands right now. And BLM has blood on their hands. We've been sounding this alarm mm -hmm. from the start. Mm -hmm. You know... $60 million in 2020 alone, they cannot account for. We're looking at maybe $11 billion, Lawrence, that they can't account for. And they, there's nothing to point to, to say that, to, to say, oh, look, we did this. We changed this community. We uh, uplifted this business. There's nothing to show for it. They could have taken that money and just thrown it up in the air on the south side of Chicago and done more good with it than, than they have with all of this organization. And now now they have this, uh, you know, a six million dollar home in Studio City. Patrice Coolers, who is a co-founder of BLM, her wife uh, suddenly came into a three million dollar <laughs> mansion in downtown Toronto. So whose side are these people on? Well, they're not on our side. I want to play the soundbite from the mayor of Chicago. This is what she had to say. Watch. Real Chicagoans are asking me, how could you possibly even consider running for re-election as mayor of the city of Chicago after all the harm you've caused? Well, I disagree with you fundamentally, um, and I don't think I need to address any and dignify your comments one second further. Pretentiousness, uh, Kira, what do you mean you're not going to dignify? What do you mean you disagree with the premise? It's, it's just a simple fact. This is the problem, Lawrence. This is the whole problem from start to finish, whether we're talking about BLM or any of the other crazy things that are plaguing us right now. We have a whole slate, a whole slew of politicians, a political class who have never had to answer for themselves. They've never been held to account by the media that are, that are their allies. They've never had to answer a difficult question. They never had to uh, justify some of the ridiculous decisions that they've made. And then when COVID came along and they were able to shut us all down and shut us all up, then that just they just doubled down on that attitude that they don't owe us anything. And that is what the black community in America has gotten from the political class for decades, Lawrence. No one has given us answers. They give us platitudes. Right. They give us black squares in their avatars. They wear shirts that say Black Lives Matter, but they don't come to where we live. It's they don't dig in. They don't bleed for us mm -hmm. and they don't answer to us. And that's the worst part. And I think a lot of black yeah. voters are starting to realize that, that particularly when it comes to the progressive left, as it is housed in the Democrat Party, they don't yeah. think that they have to answer our questions. You're so right. They don't think that they owe us anything. You're so right, Kira. Kira Davis, thanks so much for coming up on Cross Country. Thanks, Lawrence.